Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So one thing I think a number of us have been wanting for the PlayStation 5, and especially with all of the recent developments with the jailbreak, as well as a number of great payloads, is the ability to have that hosted offline. Now, there's a number of different solutions that folks have made where you could run the website on your local PC, or maybe you put it in GitHub pages, or maybe even you purchase an ESP device. But some people are just looking for something maybe a little bit easier. And that is what brings me to this video today. So I saw that this developer has added a offline cache to host the PS5 jailbreak with a number of different payloads. We can see that they have things such as ETA HIN, the hardware version info, and a few other things. What I wanted to do was to go ahead and download this and run this on my PS5. That way we can experience it together. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so on your PS5, you will need to go ahead and be at least originally jailbroken in order to do this. I'm going to scroll down here to debug settings, game, and we'll go into the package installer. And now I'm just going to run the PKG that you could download. Also, all of the links will be in the description below. And there it goes. So let's go back to the main menu. And if we scroll back, then right there it is. So it does say offline in the icon there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a reboot and I'll be right back. Okay, so the system has rebooted. Obviously, I can't get into debug settings uh, for, at this point because I am obviously no longer jailbroken and there is no longer the debug settings. So let's go back up to network and we're going to go down to settings and then we're going to turn this off where it says connect to the internet. So by turning this off, we will know absolutely for sure whether or not this offline host works. So back to the home, we're going to go ahead and run it. Okay, so it does say right here, you are not connected to the network. Interesting. So let's go to network settings and we'll turn on connect to the internet. We'll try it again. But it looks like you still need the internet in order to get to their host. Now we are still broken and it says waiting payload. So we'll go to ETA hen. And we'll just go ahead and run that. Now, with it going this fast, I can absolutely tell you that for sure, it seems like the payloads are on the local system itself. Okay, so since this is offline, what we could do now is, is that we could go ahead and go back and we'll go over to our settings again. We'll go to network. We'll go back to settings and we'll turn that back off again. And now let's see if it's cached that page to where we would no longer need an actual internet connection again. So we'll run it now. Okay, so the cached version seems to work extremely well. The only thing you will need to keep in mind if you are going to use this in a completely offline scenario is that you will need to run it at least one time to download it and then you can keep your connection to the internet completely off if you want which is really awesome because all of the files are going to be on the local ps5 and you would be able to run this pretty much forever on this system and on this version obviously the disadvantage is, is that you may be missing out on some of the updates unless you either go back and find a new package file or fake package file that the developer has worked on. So there it is. Check it out and I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.